Today's military makeover is brought to you by the Navy Mutual Aid Association. We're going to Jupiter. We're going to go to the Teg Wedding. It's pretty cool. They're actually getting married right now. We're going to uh, notify this family they've been selected for military makeover. It's a complete surprise. Should be uh, should be interesting. Everybody well? I'd like to take this moment to congratulate Mandy and Ed on their wedding. I wish you many years of happiness and health, and we hope that you get everything that your heart desires. Uh, with that being said, we'd like to let you know that you've been officially selected as the next family for military. You know what I see everywhere I go? Veterans helping veterans. It's a calling. It's a duty. Hell, it's a responsibility for vets who feel the same way that I do. We do it because of our shared experience, our shared concerns. But I see right here at home, standing right beside the vets, individuals and organizations that recognize the sacrifices who want to honor and repay. Our newlywed friends Ed and Mandy Tagg are starting their journey together in Ed's hometown of Lake Worth, Florida. Both of them have goals to help the local community in important ways. We met at the Division of Human and Veteran Services for the county. Um, I work there as a program manager for some social service programs for kids. And Ed came on for a campaign they were doing for um, homeless veterans and individuals in the community. You know, I had a friend who had had talked to him a few times and she said, you guys have a lot in common, you need to talk to that guy. <laughs> and so I did and from there we've, you know, been together ever since, so. Ed is striving to better serve the veterans community and Mandy is returning to her first calling, teaching. I was going the teaching route and I made some changes and ended up going a different route. And now here I am back a few years later deciding that's the, the route I want to go. I have some some good mentors in that field, and I am going to be teaching 11th grade English at Santa Lucia's High School. I like working with teenagers. <laughs> Finding a home in Lake Worth is a perfect fit for Ed and Mandy's plans. Our military makeover is going to be a huge boost. We're very fortunate to get this this house for the, the price and for the I mean, with the location. I mean, you look out that front window, and it's it pays for itself right there. Actually, my back neighbor is one of my best friends. And he knew the owner, and he said that, um, that he was going to be putting the house for, up for sale. We met with him, and he ended up being a basketball coach at my high school that I graduated from. I used my VA home loan. It's first of both of our first home This is our first home, yeah. So for us, it was an adventure together. It was an adventure. It was, it was scary. It's just um, a great benefit, and yeah. it's been a very positive experience for us. You know, you might look at a veteran and you say he's physically fit, he's a good looking guy, he's young, able bodied, but that veteran's probably got some invisible wounds. We're talking about PTSD, which might evolve into alcoholism, substance abuse, and eventually homelessness. They need our help. 2001, I, I told my dad, I was like, I'm, I'm gonna join the Marines, I'm gonna be a Marine. I was uh, a month out from going to boot camp and I was mowing lawns. I get back home and maybe 20 seconds after I turned the TV on, uh, the, uh, the second tower got hit by a plane. It was right, it was probably maybe a minute after that, my dad actually called me and he's like, well, it looks like you got a job to do. It was 2002 and I had been graduated and been training. And then from there we deployed uh, to Iraq. When I first got there, was, there was still there was daily mortars and rockets and things like that. It's about two weeks that I had been in country. That's where I first uh, encountered direct fire. I thought parts of Ramadi were bad, which they were, but Fallujah was, that's where you, you saw everything. You couldn't find a house that didn't have either bolt holes or burns or a wall blown out. We were shooting in and they were shooting out. It was a scary place. So I was out for about a year, a year and a half, and I uh, received orders saying that I uh, need to report to Kansas City, Missouri. And when I got to Kansas City, Missouri, 
um, I was notified along with about 300 other Marines that had been out for a little while um, that we were being reactivated and put back on active duty. To have to be recalled from inactive reserve, that it's pretty rare. I thought, oh, well, I'll go back to my, my, my rear recon platoon and maybe I'll go on a team with them. And I was wrong. I was put into a military police company. They had told me that based on some of my experience that they wanted me to be a platoon commander. So I would be in charge of 36 uh, Marines and a corpsman as a sergeant. <laughs> I was uh, not an officer. I was uh, an E5 uh, enlisted sergeant. I don't think I ever questioned myself, though, which I, that's something I'm proud of. I, I didn't question that I'd be able to do it. It was just because I, I signed up for it. I signed up to be a Marine. I knew that what I was getting into. So it, that was a lot of responsibility. I knew that I was going to have to get these guys ready, and guys and gals, uh, ready to, to deploy. Because uh, I wanted to make sure that I did everything I could to help them get back safe to their families. You know, I was never, I wasn't in charge of anybody the first time, but this time. Especially being recalled back, it's in a different role and something that I wasn't completely familiar with. That last deployment was around six months. I did have some of my Marines come up to me and say, "Thank you, you know, thank you, Sergeant Tay. You, you know, we, you know, the training you gave us helped us get through Iraq, and that was good." I, 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 because uh, I was a little bitter when I got recalled. <laughs> then to get out and then to be uh, sitting in the classroom with like 19-year-old kids. <laughs> I mean, at this point, you know, I had three tours in Iraq, and I was like, you're complaining about your parents not paying your cell phone bill? Meanwhile, two months ago, I was worried about my Marines getting blown up on a road. It was hard to, to readjust, to get back to normal, whatever normal is. Um, I mean, my, the only person I would talk to about anything, um, and this was any of the tours, like, the only person I would ever talk to was my dad. After uh, my dad passed away, that was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. I didn't have my confidant anymore. I was scared. I didn't know what was what was happening. I, you know, I, I felt like unimportant and alone and scared, and nobody understood. I mean, I don't know if he, if he was looking over me after he left, but um, and so I, uh, you know, I, I told somebody that I wasn't feeling. I was feeling these things. Uh, you know, we. I started going to the VA, and uh, they, uh, you know, it, it was good to talk to someone to to let them know what was going on. I still go there. They, I mean, they they've they've helped me. They probably saved my life. Um, just uh, it's just to to get the, some of those things that are in your head that you feel you're alone with out there. It, it, it's it's therapeutic. A light bulb went off in my head. I was like, this is what I want to do. I want to help other veterans. I want to, you know. Sh Show them that there's they're, they're not alone, and that there's there's there's, a, there, there's things that can help you, and you're you're not by yourself. A position opened up with the Palm Beach Vet Center. In my position now, with the the vet centers now for a year, um, I've got to work with some phenomenal people, and the the backbone of that is the counseling, um, and that's something that I truly know that I want to. It's, it feels like a natural progression. Like right now, I'm boots on the ground, but I. I'd like to get on the clinical side and the treatment side. You know, like I say, if I help one veteran, that's, that's the goal. Our makeovers are about respect, and we're here to show ours. Construction manager Ryan Stanley is our talented makeover veteran, and he'll lead our team of contractors and volunteers. To get started, Ryan did a quick look around with Ed. All right, so let's see what we got going on outside here. We'll just kind of walk around the property and kind of notice things as we go along. Uh, here in the front of the house, I didn't really see anything that raises any red flags to me. Uh, the grass looks really, really nice. Looks like you've been doing a lot of work out here. Yeah, I've had to replace a lot of the irrigation system. It's been a, my own adventure. Ryan's in for it. Ed's got a virtual jungle surrounding the entire house. Here's a great example. Um, the plants themselves are nice plants, but when you let them get so big and so overgrown, the worst thing you can do is let plants grow right up against the house because it creates mold. Um, vines can crawl up inside your eaves and penetrate into the attic. Uh, and then of course you got critters, mice, and this and that. The back of the house is a full on jungle. Wow, look at this. I like it in a weird way. Well, you have a lot of big trees, you got a lot of palm trees. You get this incredible looking cactus. 
The main thing here is just to thin it out, um, get a lot of the, the underbrush stuff, the smaller saplings. We want to get rid of all those, leave the nice big pieces, conversation pieces, because you get a lot of stuff that's really just getting lost in the jungle. Ryan will have to figure out how to make order out of chaos and create comfort zones out of the jungle-like overgrowth. <laughs> you fell for it. <laughs> nice shady area here, though. Mm -hmm. It literally feels like 10 degrees cooler. Right. Um, but you're not utilizing it. Where's the uh, shade gear? I know, it's, uh, it's one of the, the struggles with the jungle back here, just trying to figure out what to do back here. You got a lot of fencing here, I count. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five different types of fencing. Yeah. Uh, it'd be nice to kind of get that uniform somehow. It'd be nice. <laughs> and straight, I see some are lean this way, this way, this way. And right. <laughs> um, got the pool back here. Uh, nice pool, it's obviously an older pool, but it looks like it holds water. Speaking of comfort zones, the old AC unit has got to go. That was there when I moved in and I, equipment failure has been a major thing. Every week seems something that's going wrong with it. Awnings that double as hurricane shutters need to come down before they fall down. I think that'd be a good compromise to get, lose the shade there and utilize the shade here all while cleaning up the back of the house. Well, I'm half tempted to jump in the pool, it's so hot, so let's, let's get out of this jungle. Sounds good. Rebath, a partner for our last three projects, is back at it for their fourth makeover. And they're generously donating another complete bathroom remodel. The Tegs bathroom is old and due for a facelift. Design consultant Jody Siegel came out to consult with Ed and Mandy on a Rebath design just for them. Rebath has a product. It's a green product because it's a natural stone, but we don't use the whole stone. We don't make it that thick. It's very thin. Put a backing on it that's waterproof. It also stabilizes the stone. Rebath's Dura Bath wall surrounds are their exclusive product line of beautiful natural stone. Well, I just saw your eyes go up. This is called French Mocha. It comes in full sheets, so entire bath and shower walls can be covered in stone with a wonderful range of finishes to choose from. Now we get to design the rest of the bathroom around that. Rebath's partner, Birch Cabinets, is providing beautiful natural wood vanities, which will be customized with a countertop of Ed and Mandy's choice. So let's pick colors for the vanity. This is the one I recommend. Oh, wow. You can go with it or not. <laughs> what do you think? I agree, it looks really good together. Yeah? Okay, well if you're good with that, let's find you a vanity top to go with this. One that has like a gray mm -hmm. in it. Oh, that one's, oh, I Actually, like Actually, I like that better. <laughs> do you? Yeah, it has yeah, like the gray specs. Rebath, beautiful custom bathroom remodeling. All right, we're good to go. We can get you started on your bathroom. Great, thank you so much. You're thank welcome. You. On this Teg makeover, the Home Depot Tool Rental Center is our partner. So Ryan, our contractor, well, he's in hog heaven. Wait a minute, did I just call Ryan a hog? Oh well. The Home Depot Tool Rental Center has partnered with this military makeover to supply Ryan with some critical tools. So I'm like a kid in a candy store here at the Home Depot Tool Rental Center. They have all the fun toys. Hi Chantel, how are you? Hey Ryan, how are you? Good to see you again. Good to see you. So Chantel was kind enough to make sure that we had uh, the tools that we're using on the project and make sure that they were here. Uh, you want to go take a look at them? Yeah, I have them ready. Let's awesome. go. Awesome, thank you so much. One of the first things I'm grabbing is this portable air conditioner. It was brutal today, so I can't wait to take this back. It's a summertime special. Customers love it. Absolutely. Um, I know we're going to need one of these guys, the pressure washer. Uh, we have a deck that's real dirty and dingy, so we're going to need that. The Tool Rental Center is the place to find the right tool for the job. I know a lot of people can be intimidated, especially DIYers. They think that the Home Depot Tool Center is just for the pros, but it's really not. It's for everyone. So someone can come in and say, I got all this old wallpaper I want to get off the wall. I want to cut a hole in the concrete and you can help them and show them exactly what they need. Yes, we're here to help. We can walk a customer through any project. And you can show them how to use the tool? Yes, we do. Awesome, so you know everything in here, don't you? Almost. All right, well, I may need your help tomorrow. Okay. 
a two-man auger, digging holes the smart way. That's Ryan's style. Uh, we got about 30 feet of fence we got to do, which is 12 posts that we got to get in the ground. If we were to dig that by hand, it would take us all day long, and I don't have all day to spend on digging holes. Absolutely. So we'll literally be able to get it done in a couple hours. We also have a generator here. I do know the power is going to be cut to the house uh, for a day, so we're going to have this as a backup. And the paint sprayer. We're painting the whole exterior of the home. The right tool for the right job. For a pro, time is money. For a DIYer, saving time and money on big projects you do on your own. All right, I've got this list here. It's pretty big because it's a big project. It sure is. You better get right up. Don't yep. grab stuff out of Let my Let me have head. a look at this here. What is that? That's up. Uh, this is not even my clipboard. I found it. Folks, we've got a really great makeover with some amazing partners coming up. And by the way, this is a crossword puzzle, Gunny. Oh, come not on, that's list. not my clip. I don't do comics, dude. You, you know? are a comic, Gunny. Uh, bull <laughs> An amazing bathroom remodel from the great team at Rebath is already underway. It'll be beautiful. You couldn't ask for a better makeover partner than the Home Depot. Yeah! All right, let's do it. They're here in force, tools, and volunteers. And teaming up with the Home Depot here in Lake Worth, we're powered by community, extreme generosity, and volunteer support. We've got rebuilding together of the Palm Beaches and donations from local contractors. South Florida in July, hot and humid. With a home in bad need of an air conditioning upgrade, we've got Goodman brand HVAC starting their own Operation Comfort. And speaking of South Florida, it's also hurricane season. Eaton Corporation is here with a backup power solution. How about a virtual jungle that needs taming? Our volunteers are attacking it with Razorback tools. Toughbuilt is outfitting our construction team and our veteran to work better and smarter. Money is with us to donate a smart home security system. The tags need that in the high foot traffic city park area they live in. Our steadfast sponsor from Gunny's hometown, NBKC Bank. Kansas City is well represented, offering hands on with the house and with support for our veterans across the country. Navy Mutual is teaming up with our veteran Ed Tag to discuss what we all should know to help our veterans. Ed wants to become a licensed counselor and continue his support of his fellow veterans. Wells Fargo and Scholarship America are going to have a gift for Ed that will propel him along his chosen career path. And some people just have it made in the shade. Gunny. Oh, three letter word for numbskull. Art. <laughs> Shade provided by Impact Canopy. I love that. <laughs> Military makeover. Operation the Teg family is underway. It's hot. It's South Florida. But as Gunny says, we will adapt and overcome. AR. Hey, yeah. Read that clue under 48 across there. Ah, your crossword. Okay, 48 across. Three letter word for imbecile. Art? You wrote <laughs> my name, Art? Well, I couldn't get lazy or idiot to fit in any of Oh, I got one. How about Lee? <laughs> Listen, Gunny, quit busting my chops. I've been working really, really hard out here. I've been busting my Wait a minute. That is a swear word. This is a family show. At ease, Art. Art, that's a 10. Ah, I can't forget. Okay. Now, all of you out there, don't, don't pay attention to him. Don't miss the next episode of Military Makeover. This is the Gunny saying, Semper Fi. Hoorah! <laughs>